MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good match. Steven Strasburg gets the ball for Washington in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg, he's got eight hits in 17 at-bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. And there is a National League record. 45 straight games with a hit as he'll set his sights now on the all-time mark. You know, d -Row, they say that records are made to be broken, but I never thought... Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. And this throw gets away from him. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively came back to factor into that one. Into the box now, Dale Murphy. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. First pitch on its way. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. That is it. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. As he'll swing and send a chopper out to second. Knee high. He barehands it. Touche, sir. That is good. The third base Chipper. So stepping in, Chipper Jones, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. And this finds a seam. Looks like extra bases for Chipper. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks of finding a way to be productive yeah. and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game, and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row, as a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. And Suzuki able to make the catch, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Find a blue will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? It's pretty easy to see why this guy is one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. He has a ridiculously good whip. How about under .5 on the season? Do you have any idea how hard that is to do that? He's nearly impossible to reach base on. He doesn't walk hardly anybody, and he's awfully tough to get a hit off of. One of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Adam Eaton comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. One and two now to Adam Eaton. One out, nobody on. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Now here it comes. The second baseman. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh one count. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed that strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Nationals gone in order. Still down 3 0. Now with the plate, Joe Torrey. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. 
one of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. So the first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So one away here with the bases empty, and that will bring up the three-time World Series champ, Vida Blue. Lined but speared on a hop. On to first, and Strasburg's in control here, two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and stepping in is the left fielder, Kenny Lofton. First pitch of the at-bat. Into center field, line drive base hit. So a two out knock, and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. Now about it. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the. Juan Soto to the plate we now. Go. He's gone over his first six at bats in the series so far. And he takes a cold strike. 0 oh, and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. That evens it up one and one. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. The pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five and... So up steps Ozzy Albies. off of the break, the second baseman. First pitch coming, here it is. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Into the second deck and gone. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Slap hard the opposite way. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. The batter, the third baseman, Chipper Jones. At the plate now, Chipper Jones. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Boy, d -Row, he's not missing very many barrels so far in this one. That is back-to-back -back bullets and another base hit. Yeah, no doubt about it. There was this banner that hung in the Texas Rangers clubhouse back in the day that said, hit or get left behind. That's exactly what this offense is doing. Into the box now, Omar Vizquel. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 6-0 ball game. Digging in for his second at bat, Joe Torrey. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. 
Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue in this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Harper typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to pack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty B, he leaves a lot of pitches off of the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's affected. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six yep. games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. In now, Kenny Lofton. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit and two tries for him so far. Comes set and the 0 1. Here's a drive toward the gap in right center, and that's going to split the alley for extra bases. One run scores. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Man, if I was on the mound, I would not let this guy hurt me. He's been tearing the cover off the ball the entire series, and he drives two more in right here. He is definitely a man on a mission, and he's making a huge impact. Acuna digs in now as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And that's in there. Base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 10-0 score. Well, Dero, you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket. Run scored in ribbies. Run scored in ribbies. And this guy's the best in the business right now. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series. And he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Standing in now, Dale Murphy. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And his confidence has to be in a really good place right now, having already launched two balls over the fence in this one. And that's down into left center for a base hit. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Rowena Salias is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now, back. now in the box, Chipper Jones. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That Line to shortstop. He's there to make the play, and that ends. Not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game. At the start of the day, they ranked towards the bottom of the league in both on-base percentage and runs scored. As one player put it, it's been a frustrating year because we feel we have a lot more ability than we're putting out right now. Another hitter told me they're working every day on having more disciplined at-bats, hoping that leads to better counts to hit in. We'll wait and see if the adjustments lead to results as the season progresses, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Batting eight, the right 
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. Thames behind one and two. Just hung in there on that one. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here. Six already. And that's out number two. Batting nine. First pitch of the at the bat on its way. Rowetta. Fouled away. Oh, yeah. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. That's out. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two to the Nationals Down. pitcher. One and two. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The catcher, number nine. Go. Settling in now, Joe Torrey. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. So now to the plate, find a blue. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Eaton is there, two gone. Up next for Atlanta. The left field. Now back to the top Kenny. of the lineup, stepping in, Lofton. Kenny Lofton. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. And prior to the 0-2, will move to first. But the runner's back easily. Here's the 0-2. Hit hard on the ground to second, and Kendrick gives it a reach going by, but it's into center field for a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Soto is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for Atlanta. But they lead it by a count of 12 to nothing. Here now is Trey Turner back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. So he sets him down swinging. Trey Turner is retired leading the off the bottom field. of the fourth. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One out, nobody on. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man. As a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. 
Grounded back up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Eaton is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. The right fielder, number three. Dale. Next to bat for Atlanta, Dale Murphy. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Smoked on the ground, left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. Damn, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, Maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And standing in now, one of the best players of the past two decades, the great Chipper Jones. And that's off his leg on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And and back in our nation's capital before we get too much further on the field let's check in with Heidi. Thanks Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point. And he told me overall he's not happy with the at bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right, Heidi, thank you. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Now that first baseman. Ryan Zimmerman comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. And a good curveball there, but he wouldn't bite. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth now as we check out the league the leaderboard for Team Kirk. ERA. And we find that this pitching staff currently leads the NL in that department. Strike one to start the at-bat. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. A ball and a strike to count to Suzuki. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. The one-two. That's the ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away in that in New inning set to get underway. And that'll bring up one of the all-time shortstops, Omar Vizquel. Vizquel. Line drive to left. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. The catcher, number nine. Ready for another Joe. shot now. Joe Torre is working on a one for three thus far. Hit sharply on the ground. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time they won't get an out on the play. The pitcher. 
Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But field, any field, way field. you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Eaton is there now, and he has it. Two gone. The left field number seven. Ready once again, yeah. Kenny Lofton. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And this is fouled at the plate. Torrey is off of first with two away. Fouled off. Ready with the 0 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, you know what? Now good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d -Row. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's... There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that... So here's Starlin Castro. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the Nationals get a man into scoring position. It's a leadoff double. Wow. I was starting to... Right fielder, Herrera. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base All open one. at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. As Rubel Cabrera will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Cabrera is quickly approaching 200 career homers. Looking to inch closer here. Fly ball out toward left center field. Lofton will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now that a speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Runner in scoring position with Sugar. Owen won the count.
fouls this one off. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. So they do get the... Wander Suero enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to... Here comes the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly by Zimmerman. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Stepping up to the plate, Dale Murphy. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now better. Now at the plate, the Freddie Freeman. He's got Freddie. a hit in three at bats Freeman. to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled toward right center field. Thames will get there, and he puts it away to Freddie. retire. Your Bruce Suter free. gets the call from the pen now to take over on the mound and start the home Number seventh. 42. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Adam Eaton is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. A ball and two strikes now. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Ready now with the first pitch. Here it comes. Howie Kendrick Howie. is in with one oh away now as he swings Kendrick. and misses here at strike one. Soft liner towards short. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Boy, this is just a case of another really okay. good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Got him to go down swinging there. Juan Soto becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Ryan Zimmerman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one behind 0 and 2 now he struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game Nationals leap into the box Chipper Jones he's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest he's set here it comes is put in play to the right side of the infield he's got a hurry go on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight number 13 one away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up one of the all-time shortstops, Omar Vizquel. Back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach now first that. on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. To the plate now, Bruce Suter. High in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great. It's a third now, but he's safe as a run will score on the play as well. Wow, that's a baker's dozen. 13 runs right there, and they can't do anything wrong at the plate. I'm no expert, but I would have to bet that the manager would love to save some of those runs for the next game. Regardless, a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that is off the wall. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. 
I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI in the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Here's a high pop-up. Zimmerman is calling for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Ready now, Ozzy Albies. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That One run is in. Throw comes to second. To second now, but he's safe as two runs come across to score away from the play. Number three, Dale Murphy. At the plate, Dale Murphy, high and deep to center field. Eaton going back. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Two runs on the board after that home run by Dale Murphy. His third home run of the ball game as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in a baseball game. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the end. Digging in, Kurt Suzuki. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Fouled away. The 0-2 once more. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. The bat, Ready to deliver. The Here's the first base. pitch. Darling. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. The right fielder. Infield Number shifted nine. well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Eric okay. Thames is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. Oh. A ball and a strike. Man, this strike. has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will... All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the speed threat. Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. From the stretch. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And it's gone as they add still another. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. Eaton is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Standing in, Joe Torrey. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard to short. Turner loves it. And there are two away now. Now that the pitch. Stepping into the box, Bruce Souter. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung oh, out and missed it that time. It's 0-1. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Hey, we came into this one wondering how he was going to throw on the mound. That all goes out the window. He just mixed in his second knock of the game. He's going to be smiling for a while on this. Into the box now. Kenny Lofton swung on. And this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. And he keeps it up. 53 now on the year as this lead got even wider. Stepping in now, Ronald Acuna. This is line to left. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. Victor Robles digging in now, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Striding in now for the Nats, Trey Turner. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up grounding out the third. You're running down to first base, and you're so upset at yourself. At least he got under the thing. He knows his bat plane is pretty decent. Line to the right side. And that'll make him one for four in this one. I know the score's out of hand right here, but I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at-bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there, staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. The 2-0 on the way. Now a double play ball for Chipper at third. On to first, and now the Nationals are down to their final out here. Now that Stepping up now, Howie base. Kendrick. It was Howie. a single for him in his last at-bat. No balls and a strike to count. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further.